Now, previously, we understand how we can use this route inside the React application. But what I want, instead of using this route as a component, let me show you how you can use use route hook to build the same routing. So at the top, instead of this route and route, we're going to call here a hook called use route. So we call here use route. And then you call this use route right here. So instead of this return statement, you call here constant route is equal to use route. Something like this. And inside this route, you have an array of routes. So you call here an array. And inside this array, you have all your routes. So inside this array, you have to first add an object. And inside that object, you have your route path. So we call here an object like this. And then we specify different properties. So what we have to do is we have to first specify the path of the route. So we pass here path. We can call the path using the path property. And then this is for the root route. So I'm going to pass here forward slash. Then I'm going to pass here comma. And for this path, I'm using the home element. Or you can say for this path, I'm using the home component. So I'm going to specify here element colon and then pass here my home component. As you know, I don't have any home component right now. So I'm going to add here a division tag with home text, something like this. Just out of that, let me do the same right down here. So let me copy this specify that here don't forget to pass here a comma because this is the second object and this is for login so we call here login let me duplicate this specify that here this is for dashboard so we call here dashboard something like this let me duplicate this object and at the last time i'm going to specify here settings and this is for settings let me save the changes you're not going to get anything this is because right now this app is not returning anything so what we have to do is we have to return this route from this app so right down here just after this array here i'm going to say return routes save the changes you can see i'm going to have the result what i want if i back to the home i'm going to have the home component if i back to the login I'm going to have the login component and if i open the dashboard i'm going to have my dashboard component so using this technique you can easily create multiple routes now what i want i want to make this login this path and this setting route as a child of this home component so to make that you specify here a comma and you call another property here with the name children and to this children you call an array and this array is also going to have an array of objects so you're simply going to call here an object and pass all your routes. So instead of creating a new routes here, I can copy all these routes because I wanted to make this route as a child of my home component. So I'm going to put all these objects inside this array, something like this. When you save the changes, you're going to have the result something like this. You have the home component. When you open the login, you're going to get the same home component. This is because inside this element, right now you don't have the outlet component so if at the top if you call outlet and if you call this outlet right here let's suppose if i call here outlet something like this save the changes then you can see i'm going to have my login inside my application so if i open the dashboard it will open the dashboard if i open the setting it will open the setting page so now the login dashboard and settings are the child of this home component now, what if you're back to the home component and you want to print your index route as well? So inside this children, you can do that as well. So just call here an object. Don't forget to pass here a comma because this is a new object. And inside this, you call index route. So we pass here index and then specify value true. And don't forget to specify element. So I'm going to specify here element. So I'm just going to call here a div and then specify here home content. Let me save the changes. You can see to the blank space you're going to have your index route and when you open your login route you're going to have your login component so this is how you can add index route inside this use route now if you want let's suppose that you want to add children to this login you're simply going to add here a comma and then specify here children and then specify colon and in the array you specify your children list so you can do the same thing for all these objects 
that's upon you. So this is a very simple technique to create routes inside your application.